Hey, Chad here with ChadCar.net and LearnHolllens.com. And I just upgraded to Windows 10, uh, the fall creators update. Uh, it came out today. Today is Tuesday, October 17th. And I'm uploading this video on Wednesday, the 18th. But the very first thing that I saw surprised me in a very good way. And that is my... C drive. I have an SSD, solid state drive on my C drive, and I believe it's only a yeah 200 and yeah it's only a 256 gig hard drive uh, SSD, and only had just over five gigs left. That was free when I went to install this, and so I try not to keep anything on it other than my Visual Studio and uh, the operating system, and so I just checked. And now I have almost 22 gigs free. So by installing this update, I gained a lot of space on my hard drive. Went from 5 to 22. So pretty happy about that. Let's see what else has changed in this update, in particular around mixed reality. Let's dig in. Welcome, Core Calibration Trainee. When you're ready, approach the calibration unit and begin calibrating cores. Oh, hey, hi. So excited. Are you the uh, calibration guy? Great, great. It's my first time. Uh, please meet you. What's your name? I'm Gil. When does it... Ah! Oh, hey, hey. Am, am I up for calibration? Oh! I am the reverse psychology core, but don't worry, reverse psychology only works on stupid people. Jack me! <laughs> Impressions! I got a million of them! Uh, first one, guess who I am? <sighs> I'm so the tracer core has been released. I am the rhythm core. I provide rhythm. Finish calibrating me for better rhythm. Although these are very good rhythm. Goodbye, rhythm. Tracer core. Tracer core. Tracer core. Tracer core released. 
It will kill us all. Tracer Core! Tracer Core. Tracer Core! Thank you for activating Spider Core. Spiders will be released following calibration. Please select number of spiders to be released upon calibration. For default number of spiders, make no selection. No selection registered, defaulting to 11,000 spiders. Spiders to be released upon calibration. Please select size of spiders for default supply.
So I was going to go and talk about what was new in this uh, Fall Creators update, uh, but I just uh, spent the entire evening playing uh, VR games. <laughs> so, so there you have it. You saw a couple uh, that I played. I actually played a few. Uh, I downloaded a lot more than I even played. But in case it wasn't obvious, the cool thing is all the games on uh, Steam, so the Steam VR games, they all work with the Windows Mixed Reality headsets. So uh, it was announced, and it was still some speculation of exactly what it meant, but it works. And um, Steam VR, pretty awesome. I, uh, the one I liked the best out of the ones I looked at so far was the Lab from Valve. It was, it was pretty awesome. Uh, the slingshot, those uh, cores were hilarious. Um, different ones will say different things, and they were pretty funny. There's one inside the lab where you actually use like a bow and arrow, and that was all right. Uh, the spaceship one was also in the lab, and I liked that one as well. That was um, uh, dodging all the bullets with the controller, trying to make sure your hand wasn't hit. It was pretty fun. And... Um, the very first one was at V time. I didn't actually chat with anybody. I could have, but I just like sell my avatar, looked at a couple of environments, and then bailed out that one. Uh, there was a War Robots, uh, the skirmish demo that I played. It was really good. Unfortunately, it was just as shaky as the um, V, uh, the V time with the helicopter scene, and so I had quite a bit of footage that was really just shaky, like that. So I didn't, I don't want to bore you with those uh, type things. Fortunately, the lab did not suffer that problem. I'd rebooted uh, since then, so that may have been uh, that may have been my uh, issue. Um, needed to reboot for whatever reason. Well, I plan on creating uh, my own mixed reality, virtual reality content, and the goal is to actually bring you uh, through that journey with me. So as I go and develop uh, certain experiences, I actually teach you as I go. So if you're interested in that, uh, the ball means uh, subscribe uh, to the channel. So you'll be notified when I create the videos. And um, I'll create a video every single week. So um, we really didn't get into the Creators 10 updates. a whole lot more stuff around 3D uh, that's there. I just uh, showed the headsets working uh, with Steam VR, which is pretty great. So there's some built-in apps straight from the Windows Store you can grab or anything from uh, Steam VR that all works too. So it's pretty awesome. Now I did get a preview uh, for that Steam VR and I don't know if it's actually released yet or not. So it may not be released. If it's not released, then just hang tight. I'm sure it'll be released uh, very soon. I'm, I'm assuming it actually was released. Uh, today but um, but yeah so I'm pretty happy uh, pretty happy with how it's uh, working out you know, for the most part every once in a while the controller it will kind of lose tracking on the controller it'll just um, like it's not even registered so I'm not sure what that's about um, but other than that it's pretty pretty neat experience again I run the uh, 1080 uh, GTX so um, yeah, so it works well. Steam VR does require 1070. So uh, while you can run the headsets on much lesser uh, hardware, if you want to run Steam VR titles, then you'll need a 1070 or 1080 or higher. Assuming you're watching this later on. So yeah, well I hope you have a fantastic week, and I'll see you in the next video.